Jason was more than a coach. He was a friend, a mentor, he was family. The thing that stood out to me the most was his way of making a player play up to the best of his ability. I remember we were down 4-0 in a semifinal tournament at KISS, and he called me out for my poor play the whole game. He said if he was a player on the team, he would be pissed off at me. I used that as motivation, and we came back to tie that team in 15 minutes, 4-4. He fired the inner self in me, and that's one of the best experiences I've ever had with him. I will miss you dearly. Jason, my prayers are with the Willery family. Love as always, Jorge. My name is Alex Ahrens. Jason, why did you leave this world? Couldn't you have stayed to teach me more at every practice and every game? Death is a monster. It takes away a loved one every second of every day. I wish you could still be here to watch me improve and to pick me up when I fall down. You changed my life in a way I might never be able to explain, but you meant the world to me. As my coach, you taught me not only the game of soccer, but the reality of life. I can't thank you enough for everything, Jason. Thank you for teaching us more than we thought we could ever learn, pushing us harder than we thought was possible, and believing in us when we couldn't. Not only did you exceed your duties as a coach, but you served as a role model to all of us as to how we could use our talents to better impact others. While your time on earth was much too short, you will never be forgotten. Rest in peace, Jason. We will miss you. Hi, I'm Sydney Rogers. Jason was more than just a coach. He was more than someone that I saw at games and practices. He encouraged me and he pushed me to be not only a better player, but to be a better person. His halftime speeches are what gave me hope and encouragement to push through the games. And that's what I'll remember the most. Thank you for always having a faith in me, even when I couldn't find it in So myself. in the seven years that I knew Jason, um, he taught me so many things um, about soccer, but just about life in general as well. Um, I learned that you need to take whatever life throws at you, life or soccer, um, with a cool head. Never saw him get overly upset, um, and I think that's for all the Woolleries, but it was just such a, a cool thing to see um, and have that role model. Um, not to not to get um, emotional or upset at the refs or at your teammates. Just take it in stride. Um, the second was to how to properly use sarcasm. I think that I got significantly sassier after being coached by Jason, which is not a bad thing. Um, and then third is that you shouldn't ever be afraid to be bold and uh, be true to yourself as far as your dreams and what you really want. Um, if you want to be the best, be the best and be proud of that. He would always ask the teams um, very direct questions about where they wanted to go in life and with soccer. And he was always pushing us to um, be true to ourselves and not be afraid of our dreams. So I think that's really important and uh, definitely something that I can carry with me throughout my life. So, Thanks thank you, for Jason. being a mentor to both me and my sister. You taught both of us how to be better people and to strive for success even when we think it's impossible. I'll never forget the importance of why I play, and now I just have another reason to play, and that's because of you. Thanks for everything you've done Throughout any sport me. that you play in your life, you look back and think about that one coach you had that changed your life forever. When I was 13 years old, I met the coach that would change mine, Jason Woolery. I'll never forget the day I sat down in his office at the point of tears, terrified I wouldn't be able to play college soccer. He called me down and asked me, well, do you want to live in Tennessee when you grow up? And I said yes, to which he told me to go for it. A couple months later, I would find him right by my side as I signed the NCAA letter of intent on National Signing Day. I will never forget the smile on his face when he told me that he was proud of me. And I'll never forget that he told me I was welcome to come back after college and coach for dry year. I'll never forget the way I felt when I heard that from the best coach I'd ever had. Jason is the reason why I am where I am today. He helped shape me not only as a player, but also as a person. Once in your life, you'll find that one coach that is so much more than a coach. A coach that makes a difference in your life. Jason changed mine forever. He'll be greatly missed. Okay. So I'm Sam Peters, and my favorite memory with Jason was when we won a king uh, tournament in Kalamazoo, and he was our coach for the championship game, and the ref 
came over and told him that the parents had to be quiet, and he yelled at the ref and said that they'll be quiet once he starts making good calls. Um, because of you, you're the person that pulled me up to play with the older girls, and I've developed my skills and like learned how to actually play. And because of you, I am where I am today. So I'm here in Antwerp, and I didn't know Jason for very long, but from when I've talked to him, he's always kind-hearted. And he always wanted us to do our best, not just in soccer, but um, in everyday things, in school and in life. And I really take that to heart. And I'll, you know, I'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Jason was the coach who convinced me I could play in college. So next year when I play in college, I have to him. Every game from now on, I'm going to dedicate to him because he is the coach that pushed me to be a player today. Did he push me through soccer, but he pushed me through life, making me do silly things like write him movie reviews because I told him what time I might be interested in that for a career. So wherever I go in life, part of that is the truth that to do so. so thanks to him. My name is Natalie Stanley, and I first met Jason when I was seven years old when I would go to the old YWC building in downtown St. Joe to train. If there was one thing I could tell him, I would thank him for everything he's done for me and for all the memories and for all the teams he's coached me that I've been on and I would also thank him for helping me get my soccer career started and he will definitely forever be missed. Hi my name is Lindsay Covert. I was on Jair for about seven years and every year that I was on the team Jason was my coach. Uh, I had an, an excellent experience with the program and uh, with Jason himself. I remember being on the team when we were young and I know we weren't the easiest to deal with uh, but he was always patient with us always made it fun always made it interesting and, and gave us a desire to be better at soccer and to improve our game uh, I know there um, were some bad games <laughs> there always are and he never got mad and he never yelled he he always gave us a way to, to be better and to take something really good away from it. He loved what he did and he was very committed to it, rain or shine or sleep. I think there was some freezing rain in there and and he was always on the sidelines, you know, sitting and, and figuring out uh, how to help us at halftime. Uh, and he taught me everything that I know about soccer including my love for it uh, and I know he's done that for countless other girls and I just really think that that's amazing that he could impact an entire community with his passion and I absolutely hope to exude that in my future life. He was a great guy 